Hey guys, it's Drummond. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, I brought my friend Robert here. Uh, so we're going to be doing some cooking. Uh, since I've been trying to stay with the topic of positivity for the year 2020, since tons of things are going crazy and all over the place, I've been trying to bring some positivity back into the world. So today uh, we're going to be doing some baking because something that Robert really enjoys, I don't. Uh, <laughs> He enjoys baking and cooking, so we're going to be making some cookies. Unlike last time with Meg when I was a little intoxicated, uh, this video is going to be a very, um, I said a very <laughs> toxic video. <laughs> it's going to be a sober video. And we're making snickerdoodles. So one of my favorite cookies, loads of cinnamon sugar on top, so it's not the light dusting you get store cookies is a lot better. Yeah, so um, growing up, I used to make cookies with my family, but we would buy <laughs> pretty much bake them <laughs> from the store. Uh, I've never done a uh, scratch stuff where I actually have to put stuff together, so. And he brought some drugs with him. No. So, <laughs> so instead of being drunk, we're going to be whatever you get when you do this type of drugs, whatever that is. Cream plus tartar. Cream of, cream of tartar. Cream of tartar. Robert learned very quickly that my family, we don't cook, especially at the cabin. So he learns that um, we don't have mixing bowls, so we're <laughs> improving what he told me was a sauce pan. Pretty, pretty much a sauce pan. <laughs> so we are going to be using whatever we can find. Um, he likes wax paper, we don't have wax paper, we use <laughs> <laughs> Aluminum foil. <laughs> so we're do we're making do. So first we're going to <laughs> dump the ingredients into this big bowl. Uh, not all of them though. Um, sugar. Uh... <laughs> what did you forget? What is shortening? How will that affect it? Greatly. Um, I don't know. How important is fat in your cookie? How important is shortening in baking is the proper question. This will be interesting. <laughs> um, wow. Shortening. I'm sure we have some of that here. <laughs> oh, here we go. According to uh, Google, uh, shortening used in most doughs and batters imparts a crisp and crumbly texture to baked products and to increase workability of doughs. So we have tomato soup. <laughs> so I think if we use this, it might substitute well. <laughs> we have kumquat. Mm. Mm, Delicious. Yes. I've heard that this is a great substitute for shortening. Um, it's Peckerwood Farm kumquat. <laughs> Everything you need in a cookie. <laughs> I'm sure it will go perfectly well. I mean, this doesn't have an expiration date, but it looks good and mucky and brown. <laughs> exactly what you want your cup to look like. I feel so dumb because I've forgotten something. I normally not like this. I, I usually have everything ready to go. This is why we don't bake here, because no. <laughs> the closest grocery store is probably a 20 minute drive. And then that's a 40 minute drive there and back. So when we forget something, it's cereal for dinner. <laughs> and if we don't have milk, it's dry cereal for dinner with the spoon in a bowl. Here's the sugar. One and a half cups of sugar. Mm, diabetes. <laughs> I don't measure um, because these bags graciously already were pre-measured, so. Uh, so then we're gonna skip over the shortening. We'll pretend that's not a necessary ingredient. Yeah. Uh, two eggs, please. I'll tell you right now. Oh. <laughs> I can't cook, but I am always impressed by the people who can. And Robert has cooked here before, and it's always turned out really good. So, <laughs> so far, we'll see how these cookies turn out without any shortening. <laughs> okay, so. Do you have a bowl? Because we have to soften the butter, not melt it. Do you just need a glass bowl? Glass bowl work. There you go. We do have this. Where? Right. 
uh, stoneware, not glass. There was glass on the next shelf up, but what? He is a little shorter, so we'll forget hey, him. Hey, hey, <laughs> none of that. <laughs> the shelves are pretty high. You know, I say we just stick the eggs and sugar in and see what comes out. It looks really good. It looks like a lemon meringue pie. So I'm sure that's what it'll taste like. Did I ever tell you that when we were little, my sisters and I would put tons and tons of ingredients in a bowl and mix it and then put it in the oven? And then once we stuck it on the counter, my mom didn't throw it away like she does most of our inventions. Uh -huh. And our dad cut it up and put it in his lunchbox and took it to work and came home that evening and told us that it was really good and we should make it again. And we Congratulations. put- Congratulations. We put dog food and ketchup and mustard and flour and eggs. So it cooked great. I'm Actually, not sure what it would taste like, but apparently it was good and we should make it again. So one day on my channel, I will, well, I'll let get that. <laughs> There's a lot of butter. Hey y'all, it's Paula Dean. I don't know how she talks. <laughs> All right, and then now you can do the two, two and three quarter cups of flour. A big bag of drugs. Big bag of drugs. <laughs> Lots of crack cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> these are called celebrity cookies. Um, these are the type of cookies celebrities eat. This one. They usually eat them. Um, in bathrooms. <laughs> what would be a good um, substitute for shortening, please? <laughs> You're a little short. Oh, so so what's that <laughs> Oh, ha ha. Very funny. <laughs> shortening and short person. I'm not very good. <laughs> I'm rather tall. So I'm tall too. I guess your mother fed you a lot of shortening growing up. <laughs> I was always told coffee makes people short, so maybe. I don't drink, I drink hot tea. I don't drink coffee. So I guess more butter is what you need? Um, that is extremely way too dry. Do you need milk? Uh, what about vanilla creamer? That would probably be No, no it would not. We've got some creamer in the fridge that's going bad in September, so. And these look phenomenal. Yeah, I'm just gonna taste it. That taste. Oh, boo -hoo. Um, it's actually not that bad. It's missing the sh the creamy shortening taste, though. Well, we've got some vanilla cream. Stop! It's done. Yeah, it tastes just the same. You're right. This hole in the spoon makes mixing so much easier. But it's <laughs> okay. So usually, uh, when spatulas or spoons have uh, a hole in the middle, you want to showcase. Uh, so what it does is that when you're stirring like a stew or something, it gets really thick, um, a lot of solids. And so what the hole does, it provides a greater ease of stirring. So it can go through the liquids a lot better. Um, so you don't have to struggle like Ben's doing over here. It's not very liquidy because someone forgot the short name. Hey, hey, <laughs> be nice. <laughs> We can call these COVID cookies. COVID cookies? Give them a grade C for uh, contagious. We could even. Is that appropriate? We should make 19 of them. <laughs> I went to university for uh, philosophy in DC. That was really fun. He's very philosophical. <laughs> they love South Pole. <laughs> Repeat it with me. They love South Pole. Cool. Philosophical. Close enough. <laughs> it's the same thing. And Robert can speak a dead language. I okay. So I can speak, so speak to the dead. I can speak. Uh, no, God, stop. That's actually why he's here because the house is haunted, and we're gonna have him speak to the dead. I'm gonna need a platter and a spoon, or a plate and a spoon. <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> Please, <laughs> thank you. Let's see his fridge. At what point do we add the tomato soup? <laughs> There's, there is no tomato soup. The tomato soup would give it that pink color that we're looking for. 
do you want to roll the dough into balls? Into the industry, sure. How big do you want these balls? <laughs> well, well, big balls? Bull balls? Bull ball? <laughs> like, what? Do you want a lipid ball? What type of accent was that? Bull balls? <laughs> or do you want like little baby chipmunk balls? <laughs> Okay, so you said the other one's too big, so what about these? Yeah, that's a good size. Perfect. So these are like uh, cheetah size balls. Cheetah size balls. <laughs> so if you want to know what size balls you need for this recipe, it's cheetah. Go get, get, yeah, catch a cheetah. <laughs> cheetah size balls. Cheetah size balls. It's like this size. However you see it. That way. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay, so obviously you're doing that. Great. He is burying his treasure like he's in a litter box. This is very similar to what Whiskers does at my house. Putting his poopies in the litter box. So I will just keep putting them in there so Robert can practice his litter box skills. I don't know if like the oil on my hand originally was making it not stick to my hand and now the oil is no longer on my hands. Now these are really stuck to my fingers. Ooh. So hot. I just can't believe that it's almost September. And because like COVID has made this like the longest year and also the shortest year. Like it's going by so quickly. Yeah. But it's taking a long time to finish up. But everyone's like talking about like wanting this year to be over as if like 2020 is the cause of COVID. Like once 2020 is gone, like COVID's gonna magically disappear. What I've learned is you really just have to learn how to enjoy life mm -hmm. any way that you can right now because you have to deal with whatever life throws your way. And this year it is COVID. This would be standing a lot better, but it's missing short. <laughs> Robert is uh, sucking on his ball over there. I'll keep you guys entertained. So after all my hard work, and Robert just standing here doing nothing, <laughs> we've performed and created the cookie. And I guess we'll see what it tastes like. Oh, we've got a little red for my thumb. It's <laughs> it comes with the oven. So it's really hot. Ever bite me something hot and then you have to become a dragon to sleep? I should have a bed. So really hot. <laughs> I'll clean <find> up later. <laughs> this is nothing. The video that Jasmine and I did here was when we dumped food on each other's heads, so I saw that. So when we dumped clam chowder, Hopefully my grandmother never sees that video as we totally made a huge mess here. But like my grandmother's rule with the cabin is like, if you use it, you have to leave it the way you found it. And thank God we had Dalmatians because the Dalmatians ate all the food that was on the floor. Minus the olives, they didn't like those. But if you guys haven't already, definitely go check out that video that I did with Jasmine. It was actually one of my first videos that like, started getting thousands of views like within the first couple of days I posted it and then it just faded away faded away no one watches that one anymore so go check it out it's great. I'll watch it I think we should both take a picture with my pet chickens that we have this chicken is just she produces a lot of eggs for this family she's had a really hard life well, everyone, I hope you enjoyed this video. It was great cooking cookies. Yeah, it was. I will leave the linkages to Robert's social medias down below so you guys can check him out, um, as well as my other ones. Uh, my Instagram has been popping lately. I've been trying to post every single day so you guys can check that out. Facebook, not so much. Twitter, not so much. Snapchat, not so much, but those will be down there as well. Uh, and I will see you guys next time. <laughs>
<laughs> get up to it. Hurrah! 